Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on Challenge 7 from the Camp Out Crop, and it's about doing something that you've never done during the quarantine. So that is the page map sketch that I'm using, and here are just some items that I have pulled from my Masculine Monday kit. And the pictures I will be scrapping are my fiancé building a barn door for our living room. I'm also going to be doing some mixed media on this layout. Now, I have taken a little mini vacation, and obviously this is Wednesday, and this is the Masculine Monday video. I didn't. I had all my videos recorded, but not voiced over. So over the next couple days, I'm going to have an additional several videos going up on my channel to get my channel back on schedule from my little hiatus and vacation. Now, this is the Pirate's Tail kit that I left in my ma masculine kit that I put together um, from July. And as you know, I pulled it over to September. Now, in the sketch, there was a scalloped border. And as you've seen on the front of that paper, it already has a scalloped-like design. So I'm going to fussy cut that out to get my, my scalloped border. I did go ahead and pull that cardstock underneath my trimmer there, um, just from a paper pad and that will serve as the base. I do not know why I cut off the border strip, but I do go ahead and cut that off and then trim my paper at the top. It made sense somehow in my mind, I'm not real sure. Now I'm gonna pull in another piece of brown card stock that is also from my stash, and that is what I'm going to do my mixed media on. I do use, um, the star stencil and some modeling paste in ultra marine blue it's a glossy dimension and it's Brie Reese and I picked it up at Tuesday morning so um, I'm just trying to use up some of my supplies now I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see here that is going to be the scalloped border once I cut it out and that's going to have my mixed media on it, that brown piece. So I'm just trying to get a feel for the layout of the page. We're going to go ahead and get this first piece nicely adhered down. Uh, I used, I do not believe that I will ever have a use for that shark paper, but you never know. So I did save some of it. And I did not get that on completely straight. I am in the market for a new trimmer. My Fisker's trimmer is quite old and it is the wire trimmer and it is no longer cutting straight. And I haven't really decided if I want to go with that style again or if I want to try the Caterpillar or something else. If you guys have any ideas or any suggestions, please, please, please leave me comments below. Um, I also had a Tuesday morning trip uh, this Monday. Uh, we were in the area and I got to stop and they had the American Crafts um, 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 self-healing cutting mats and it is the it's like 23 by 17 <laughs> inches so I now have a new background that I, I mean, my, my Tim Holtz mixed media mat will still stay under it. It is no longer adhered down, so I can just pull it out and set it on top of my mat. And I do have my small American Crafts. I don't know if it's an American Crafts, though. My small self-healing cutting mat um, that I will still use to make cuts on. I will not be using, I know a lot of people do it. It's funny, right? I will not be using my pretty teal one. It will just be able, it will just serve as a nice, pretty backdrop. So as you can see there, I went ahead and used a border strip from the sticker sheet as well. And um, just to seal that edge between the papers. And here is my pre-done, because I went ahead and did that off camera, uh, mixed media backgrounds. And I really thought the blue popped right off of that brown. So all I did was do one side with the stencil and then I let it dry and flipped it over and moved it around until the stars weren't overlapping each other and did the other side. You're not really going to see the middle of it because that's where my pictures are going to go, but you are going to see the top and the bottom. And it's supposed to be like cascading stars. So I am I really like it. Now, I, once again, you guys know I've been doing these weird angle on the pictures where I 
attach them together and it's a far away and a close-up and uh, our little mini vacation we did not go anywhere we are continuing it today actually I'm off all week but uh we just really were working on getting some things done around the house um you know we recently bought the house that I live in and we are doing some remodeling so we've got all you know it's stages <laughs> so this was one of the first projects um and also we are now organizing all the garages it was my grand my grandma and grandpa's house so it was kind of the house that i grew up being in so i don't mind but you know when they both when my grandpa finally passed away a couple not finally that's horrible when he passed away a couple years ago uh, my mom and her brothers did come in and get the stuff that they wanted and then i moved in and it was no not really necessary for anybody to really you know in the garages because there are three garages of you know 70 years of my grandparents stuff and there was no reason to hurry up and have to get anything out. Well, they sold me the house and said, you can keep everything. <laughs> I was really excited about that. Um, so that is what me and my fiance and my son uh, are doing this week. We are cleaning out the garages. This, the garage that he is currently pictured in now, we'll call garage A. It's actually the third garage that was on the property, but that's the one that's attached to the house and that I parked my car in. So we did... That garage looks completely different now because we bought shelving and everything. So while he is finishing up organizing some tools in there, just the tools that we use the most, I'm in here doing a voiceover, but we are soon going to be working on garage C, cleaning that out so that we can work on garage B. Garage B is a actually full, garage C is a metal structure that's just an outhouse where we will house all our lawn care tools and stuff. But the big garage has the wood burning stove and it is all concrete and it has two rooms and it's as big as my house. So <laughs> that one is going to be where, which is funnily enough because we moved all this stuff into this garage to help clean out that garage. But a lot of the stuff will end up going back in there as storage and such. I went ahead and took that tag. It was just sitting on my desk. I cut it in half. The, the colors matched. And I just went ahead and added it on to the layout. As you see, I cut it in half and separated it between that. As soon as I saw you, I knew the adventure was going to happen. And that is just how I feel about him. Uh, actually, I've known him my almost my whole life. And uh, so it's just really weird that... <coughs> Excuse me. True story, though. When I was in grade school, I had a super crush on him. I just thought he was the cutest little thing ever. He's four years older than me, so we were never in high school together, but it's okay. We found each other eventually. I'm just looking through the ephemera bits and stuff um, and chipboard pieces that I had. I'm going to try to make this work. It doesn't go over there. It does, however, go to the other side of the picture. I was trying to see if it had adhesive on it. It did, but I used my nonstick powder tool to make it not sticky anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these all around the page. I do like the way that this layout turned out, and I do like the addition of the mixed media into my um, scrapbook layouts. But I am actually, this month, I know that we I pulled this, this kit over to use again for my Monday series. Um, because I didn't really put that big of a dent in it, even though I made four layouts. Uh, this month I'm getting several more layouts but I am using a lot more stuff I have got to just get in that mindset that you got to use it don't save it because you know I mean just because you're trying to get extra pages out if I run out and I don't have enough to complete the Monday series with this kit we'll pull a new we'll pull some new paper in it's fine and I'm just looking through all the bits and bobs that I have sitting over there and I have that little star and I have some of these tags. Now I do go ahead and as you see, I pulled out all of those little banner pieces and I'm going to use them all on this page. Um, there are longer ones and shorter ones and I do go ahead and pop some of them up on some foam tape and you'll see here how I'm gonna lay it out. There's a long one and here comes a short one. And I believe that the, I can't remember if the long ones or the short ones that I pop up, I don't have the layout handy. And I'm just trying to get them into a pattern because I'm going to span it all the way across. And yes, I'm covering up a lot of that mixed media. 
but I'm okay with that because it's just supposed to spoke, poke, it's just, words are hard. It's supposed to poke out from the background and see, that's how I'm going to do that. And I do, I have used banners in the past, but not to where I feel that this, this is mimicking any of them. I just had two collections. Actually, I've had several, I had several collections in this kit and two of them had banners. The colors match and I pulled them all together. So as you see right here, okay, the long ones are going to be adhered right down to the paper. And then I'm thinking on, I'm going to go ahead. I was going to do flat, but then I seen the foam tape and I'm like, yep, we're going to go ahead. So I do not make you watch me do all that because it did take some time. I'm going to stick that little guy up there at the top. He's going to go flat to the paper just because I felt like that little part up there at the top left hand corner was a tad bit naked and I did not like it. Um, I do take my, what is this thing called? My Spectrum Noral, Nor Sparkle Pen in black, and I do go ahead and make the, um, banner string. I don't know if I've already done that or not. I did recently just pick up a Brad Punch, so we'll make that a lot, make this little chore right here a lot easier, but those, that tag had, like, two little spots, Obviously, I should have used smaller brads, but I did have this in my kit right there, and it is from the Pirate's Tale collection. So I went ahead and used those as the anchors, and I am going to go ahead and put some of my washi tape down. That little dispenser is from Close to My Heart. If you'd like to pick that up, just let me know, and I can direct you to my website, or if you have a Close to My Heart representative. All right, so I'm thinking about what else needs to be done, and here we are with the, the pen. I just go ahead and put little dots in... Um, I do not like these shimmer pins. I really don't. I like the Close to My Heart shimmer pins. They have way more shimmer and way more color. Anyway, I'm, I'm thinking we're coming to an end of this video. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Questions, comments, and concerns, leave in the bottom. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel other than my little hiatus, I do post a video a day. Every once in a while I take a bit of a break because life smacks you down. You guys can understand. And I don't have time to get everything done in my normal life along with all the stuff that needs to be done for my channel. I am trying to do shimmer with this. is why I don't like these pens. No matter how hard I squeezed, I could not get extra ink to come out. It was, it was bad. I end up, as you see right here, I grabbed my close to my heart block. And like, look, I can't, I can't even get it to come out. Like, it's not... I don't, I don't know what's wrong with this pen, <laughs> but like all like the Wink Estella pens and my close to my heart shimmer pens, when you squeeze like that, extra, much extra fluid comes out and you're able to do like splatters. I couldn't get it to splatter to save my life. I actually had to spray water on it to get it to do some splatters. And then we're just going to go ahead and splatter some shimmer around the paper, it's black. The shimmer is not strong. Again, I will never be purchasing these again. I am sorry, Spectrum Noir. I'm just not impressed with these pens. And I have too many other ones, but I don't want to throw it away because I paid money for it. So I'm going to try to make it work as best I can. And then as you can see there, I accidentally was smacking it so hard that I hit the paper. So I went ahead and hit the paper on the other side, you know. And I'm trying to just get make it look like I have, you know, some ribbon there but yeah that is going to be it for this page i hope you liked it and thank you i will definitely see you guys next time i could be like yep we're done maybe no i lied such a liar i'm taking one more look at the sticker sheet and i do go ahead and grab out some of these um it's been a while since i did this page i'm so sorry guys just some of the little circles and i'm going to use them as my enamel dots <clears throat> And the little gold cup. I forgot all about this part. Usually the shimmer is the last, is it not? I'm going to go ahead and stick that one there. I'm going to get one of these little circles in each of what I'm calling my clusters. And yes, that's going to be it, I believe. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to get that off, but it's not going to work. Hmm. I don't know what I'm grabbing for now. Oh, my title. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I suck at this. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I should have the layout in front of me. That thank you from this thicker sheet. And I'm going to run that right on top of the banner. And the reason I'm saying thank you as my title is because I do appreciate all that he has done for me. And building this barn door was just something that 
I wanted a barn door and he made it happen. He is pretty swell like that. He is a good one. We have had some problem, you know, there's, everyone has problems in their relationship and all people are human, but he has really made life fun to live <clears throat> because my son makes life worth living, but it's good to have a partner. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to see, I'm just going to stick that right in there. And I like the way that that looks. It does bring some gold in there. And now because I have the gold, I'm going to bring in some fun little jewels. Okay. And some chipboard. Lord help us all. And okay, this is, see, oh my Lord, I did so much more after I thought I was done. That little piece I had bought, um over a year ago that not that piece but that that page I got it from Tuesday morning it was black and gold I was creating a black and gold album for my best friend's dad for Christmas because uh, he had we gave his we threw him a surprise 70 birthday present pr party and I went ahead and created a complete album all black and gold and those were just some things that I had left so what I do is I go ahead and I take all of those little bitty triangle pieces that are left and I just get them stuck in the middle of each of the banner pieces just to add a little bit more pizzazz to the banner and to use up some of the items. Alright, let's see what else we do. We are going to go ahead and grab, I'm trying to get some more gold into the layout. That did not work for me. But I am going to go ahead and use these little jewel hearts because I do love this man <clears throat> and everything that he does for me and my family. But I am just going to go ahead and get a couple popped around on the page and I know yes we have hearts and stars but I'm okay with that I think it looks super swell all right I do want to say after this I don't do anything else to the layout so I do hope that you enjoy it bye